Lockheed Sminus III Viking. The Lockheed Sminus III Viking is a four crew, twin engine turboffin powered jet aircraft that was used by the U.S. Navy U.S. and primarily for anti submarine warfare. In the late 1990s, the Sminus 3B's mission focus shifted to surface warfare and aerial refueling. The Viking also provided electronic warfare and surface surveillance capabilities to a carrier battle group, a carrier based, subsonic, all weather, long range multi mission aircraft. It carried automated weapon systems and was capable of extended missions within flight refueling. Because of its characteristic sound, it was nicknamed the War Hoover after the vacuum cleaner brand. The Sminus III was phased out from front-line fleet service aboard aircraft carriers in January 2009, with its missions taken over by aircraft like the P-3C Orion, P-8 Poseidon Sikorsky S-H-60C Hawk. Several aircraft were flown by Air Test and Evaluation Squadron 30 VX Sminus 30 at Naval Base Ventura County slash NA's Point Mugu, California, for range clearance and surveillance operations on the Navair Point Mugu range until 2016, and one Sminus 3 was operated by the National Aeronautics and Space Administration NASA at the NASA development in the mid minus 1960s. The U.S. and developed the VSX heavier than air anti submarine experimental requirement for a replacement for the piston engined Grumman Sminus 2 tracker as an anti-submarine aircraft to fly off aircraft carriers. In August 1968, a team led by Lockheed and a conveyor slash Grumman team were asked to further develop their proposals to meet this requirement. Lockheed recognized that it had little experience in designing carrier-based aircraft, so Lingtemco Vought LTB was brought into the team, being responsible for the folding wings and tail, the engine nasals, and the landing gear which was derived from LTV Aminus 7 Corsair Roman 2 Nose and Vought F-8 Crusader Main. Sperry Univac Federal Systems was assigned the task of developing the aircraft's onboard computers which integrated input from sensors and sonoboys. On 4 August 1969, Lockheed's design was selected as the winner of the contest, and eight prototypes, designated y 3 were ordered. The first prototype was flown on 21 January 1972 by military test pilot John Christiansen, and the Sminus III entered service in 1974. During the production run from 1974 to 1978, a total of 186 Sminus III's were built. The majority of the surviving Sminus III's were later upgraded to the Sminus III-B variant, with 16 aircraft converted into e Sminus. 3 Shadow Electronic Intelligence Elint Collection, Election Aircraft. Design The Sminus 3 is a conventional monoplane with a cantilever shoulder wing, very slightly swept with a leading edge angle of 15 deg, and an almost straight trailing edge. Its two GTF Minus 34 high bypass turboffin engines mounted in nasals under the wings provide excellent fuel efficiency giving the Viking the required long range and endurance while maintaining docile engine out characteristics. The aircraft can seat four crew members, three officers, and one enlisted with pilot and co-pilot slash tactical coordinator Kotek in the front of the cockpit, and the tactical coordinator TACO and sensor operator Senso E. Entry is via hatch slash ladder folding down out of the lower starboard side of the fuselage behind the cockpit in between the rear and front seats on the starboard side. When the aircraft's anti-submarine warfare ASW role ended in the late 1990s, the enlisted sensos were removed from the crew. In tanker crew configuration, the Sminus 3B typically flew with a pilot and co-pilot slash Kotek. The wing is fitted with leading edge and fowler flaps. Spoilers are fitted to both the upper and the lower surfaces of the wings. All control surfaces are actuated by dual hydraulically boosted irreversible systems. In the event of dual hydraulic failures, an emergency flight control system FX permits manual control with greatly increased stick forces and reduced control authority. Unlike many tactical jets which required ground service equipment, 
the Sminus 3 was equipped with an auxiliary power unit APU and capable of unassisted starts. The aircraft's original APU could provide only minimal electric power and pressurized air for both aircraft cooling and for the engine's pneumatic starters. A newer, more powerful APU could provide full electrical service to the aircraft. The APU itself was started from a hydraulic accumulator by pulling a handle in the cockpit. The APU accumulator was fed from the primary hydraulic system, but could also be pumped up manually with much effort from the cockpit. All crew members sit on forward-facing, upward-firing Douglas Escapac 00 ejection seats. In group eject mode, initiating ejection from either of the front seat ejects the entire crew in sequence with the back seats ejecting 0.5 seconds before the front in order to provide safe separation. This was to prevent the pilots, who were more aware of what was happening outside the aircraft from ejecting without the rest of the crew, or being forced to delay ejection. The rear seats are capable of self-ejection, and the ejection sequence includes a pyrotechnic charge that stows the rear keyboard trays out of the occupant's way immediately before ejection. Safe ejection requires the seats to be weighted in pairs and when flying with a single crewman, in the back the unoccupied seat is fitted with ballast. At the time it entered the fleet, the Sminus III introduced an unprecedented level of systems integration. Previous ASW aircraft, like the Lockheed P-3 Orion and Sminus III's predecessor, the Grumman Sminus II Tracker, featured separate instrumentation and controls for each sensor system. Sensor operators often monitored paper traces, using mechanical calipers to make precise measurements and annotating data by writing on the scrolling paper. Beginning with the Sminus III, all sensor systems were integrated through a single general-purpose digital computer GPDC. Each crew station had its own display, the Copilot slash Kotec, TACO, and Senso displays were multi-purpose displays in PD capable of displaying data from any of a number of systems. This new level of integration allowed the crew to consult with each other by examining the same data at multiple stations simultaneously to manage workload by assigning responsibility for a given sensor from one station to another and to easily combine clues. Because of this, the four crew Sminus III was considered roughly equivalent in capability to the much larger p 3 with a crew of 12. The aircraft has two underwing hardpoints that can be used to carry fuel tanks, general purpose and cluster bombs, missiles, rockets, and storage pods. It also has four internal bomb base stations that can be used to carry general purpose bombs, aerial torpedoes, and special stores B-57 and B-61 nuclear weapons. Fifty-nine sauna boys are carried as well as a dedicated search and rescue SAR chute. The Sminus III is fitted with the AL Eminus 39 countermeasure system and can carry up to 90 rounds of chaff, flares, and expendable jammers or a combination of all in three dispensers. A retractable magnetic anomaly detector emady boom is fitted in the tail. In the late 1990s, the Sminus 3B's role was changed from anti-submarine warfare ASW to anti-surface warfare ASU W. At that time, the M80 boom was removed, along with several hundred pounds of submarine detection electronics. With no remaining Sonoboy processing capability, most of the Sonoboy chutes were fared over with a blanking plate. Operational History On 20 February 1974, the Sminus III officially became operational with the Air Anti-Submarine Squadron 41 v Sminus 41, the Shamrocks, at NAS North Island, California, which served as the initial Sminus III Fleet Replacement Squadron FRS for both the Atlantic and Pacific fleets until a separate Atlantic fleet. The first operational cruise of the Sminus III took place in 1975 with the V-Sminus 21 Fighting Red Tails aboard USS John F. Kennedy. Starting in 1987, some Sminus 3s were upgraded to Sminus 3B standard with the addition of a number of new sensors, avionics, and weapons systems, including the capability to launch the AGM-84 Harpoon anti-ship missile. The Sminus 3B could also be fitted with buddy stores, 
external fuel tanks that allowed the Viking to refuel other aircraft. In July 1988, the Sminis 30 became the first fleet squadron to receive the enhanced capability Harpoon Slash SR equipped Sminis 3B based at NA Cecil Field in Jacksonville, Florida. Sixteen Sminis 3As were converted to E Sminis 3A Shadows for carrier based electronic intelligence villain duties. Six aircraft, designated U Sminis 3A, were converted for a specialized utility and limited cargo carrier on board delivery COD requirement. Plans were also made to develop the K Sminis 3A carrier based tanker aircraft, but this program was ultimately cancelled after the conversion of just one early development Sminis 3A, with the collapse of the Soviet Union and the breakup of the Warsaw Pact, the Soviet-Russian submarine threat was perceived as much reduced, and the Vikings had the majority of their air. The aircraft's mission subsequently changed to sea surface search, sea and ground attack, over the horizon targeting, and aircraft refueling. As a result, the Sminis 3B after 1997 was typically crewed by one pilot and one co-pilot NFO. The additional seats in the Sminis 3B could still support additional crew members for certain missions. To reflect these new missions, the Viking squadrons were redesignated from air anti-submarine warfare squadrons to sea control squadrons. Prior to the aircraft's retirement from frontline fleet use aboard U.S. aircraft carriers, a number of upgrade programs were implemented. These include the Carrier Airborne Inertial Navigation System Roman II Canes Roman II Upgrade, which replaced older inertial navigation hardware with ring laser gyroscopes, with a Honeywell EGI Enhanced GPS Inertial Navigation System and added Digital Electronic Flight Instruments EFI. The Maverick Plus System MPS added the capability to employ the AGM Minus 65 the laser guided or AGM Minus 65F infrared guided air to surface missile, and the AGM Minus 84H slash K standoff land attack missile expanded response SLAM slash ER. The SLAM slash ER is a GPS slash inertial slash infrared guided cruise missile derived from the AGM Minus 84 harpoon that can be controlled by the air crew in the terminal phase of flight if an AWW. The Sminis 3B saw extensive service during the 1991 Gulf War, performing attack, tanker, and illid duties, and launching ADM Minis 141 Tal decoys. This was the first time and Sminis 3B was employed over land during an offensive air strike. The first mission occurred when an aircraft from V Sminis 24 from the USS Theodore Roosevelt CVN Minis 71 attacked an Iraqi Silkworm missile site. The aircraft also participated in the Yugoslav Wars in the 1990s and in Operation Enduring Freedom in 2001. The first East Ministria was delivered in 1991, entering service after two years of testing. The Navy established two squadrons of eight East Ministria of aircraft, each in both the Atlantic and Pacific fleets to provide detachments of typically two aircraft. 10 officers and 55 enlisted aircrew, maintenance and support personnel, which comprised slash supported for complete aircrews. The Pacific Fleet Squadron, Fleet Air Reconnaissance Squadron 5, the Cuminus 5, the Sea Shadows, was originally based at the former NAS Agana, Guam. The Atlantic Fleet Squadron, the Vicuminous Six Black Ravens were originally based with all Atlantic Fleet Sminis Three Vikings at the former NAS Cecil Field in Jacksonville, Florida, but later moved to NAS Jacksonville, approximately 10 miles 16 came to the east when NAS Cecil Field was closed in 1999. As a result, the East Sminis Three operated primarily with carrier battle groups, providing organic indications and warning support to the group and joint theater commanders. In addition to their warning and reconnaissance roles, and their extraordinarily stable handling characteristics and range shadows were a preferred recovery tanker aircraft that provide refueling for returning aircraft. They averaged over 100 flight hours per month while deployed. Excessive utilization caused earlier than expected equipment replacement when naval aviation funds were limited, making them 
and easy target for budget-driven decision makers. In 1999, both Eastminis 3 squadrons and all 16 aircraft were decommissioned, and the Eastminis 3 inventory placed in Aerospace Maintenance and Regeneration Group Amarg Storage at Davis Month and AFB, Arizona. Iraq War In March 2003, Eastminis 3 flew a rare mission against a land based target. During Operation Iraqi Freedom, and Sminis 3B Viking from Sea Control Squadron 38, the Red Griffins, piloted by Richard McGrath Jr., launched from USS Constellation CV-64. The crew executed a time-sensitive strike and fired a laser-guided Maverick missile to neutralize a significant Iraqi naval and leadership target in the port city of Basra, Iraq. This was the first time an Sminis 3 launched a laser-guided Maverick missile in combat. On 1 May 2003, U.S. President George W. Bush flew in the co-pilot seat of a V. Sminis 35 Viking from NAS North Island, California, to USS Abraham Lincoln off the California coast. There, he delivered his mission-accomplished speech announcing the end of major combat in the 2003 invasion of Iraq. During the flight, the aircraft used the presidential callsign of Navy One. The aircraft that President Bush flew in was retired shortly thereafter, and on 15 July 2003 was accepted as an exhibit at the National Museum of Naval Aviation at NAS Pensacola, Florida. Between July and December 2008, the Desminis 22 Checkmates, the last Sea Control Squadron, operated a detachment of four Sminis 3 BS from the Al Assad Air Base in Al Anbar Province. 180 miles, 290 km west of Baghdad. The planes were fitted with lantern pods, and they performed non-traditional intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance. After more than 350 missions, the checkmates returned to NAS Jacksonville, Florida, on 15 December 2008. The squadron was disestablished on 29 January 2009. Retirement a proposed airframe known as the Common Support Aircraft was advanced as a successor to the Sminis 3, Eminis 2, and Seminis 2, but this plan failed to materialize. As the Sminis 3 fleet was drawn down toward final retirement in 2009, Lockheed Martin performed a full scale fatigue test and extended the service life of each remaining aircraft by about 11,000 flight hours. The final carrier based Sminis 3B Squadron, the Sminis 22, was decommissioned at Anais Jacksonville on 29 January 2009. Sea Control Wing Atlantic was decommissioned the following day, along with the last Sminis 3s in frontline fleet service. In June 2010, the first of three aircraft to patrol the Pacific Missile Test Center's range areas off of California was reactivated and delivered. The jet aircraft's higher speed, 10-hour endurance, modern radar, and a lantern targeting pod allowed it to quickly confirm the test range being clear of wayward ships and aircraft before tests commence. These Sminis 3BS are flown by Air Test and Evaluation Squadron 30VX Sminis 30 based out of NAS Point Mugu, California. Also, the NASA Glenn Research Center acquired four Sminis 3BS in 2005. Since 2009, one of these aircraft, U.S. and BU No. 160,607, has also carried the civil registration and 601 NA and is used for various tests. By late 2015, the U.S. Navy had three Vikings remaining operational in support roles. One was moved to the Boneyard in November 2015, and the final two were retired, one stored, and the other transferred to NASA on 11 January 2016, officially retiring the Sminis 3 from Navy service. Naval analysts have suggested returning the stored Sminis 3s to service with the U.S. Navy to fill gaps it left in the carrier air wing when it was retired. This is in response to the realization that the Chinese Navy is producing new weapons that can threaten carriers beyond the range their aircraft can strike them. Against the DF Minus 21D anti ship ballistic missile, carrier based F slash Aminus 18 Super Hornets and F Minus 35C Lightning Roman IIs, 
have about half the unrefueled strike range, so bringing the Sminis-3 back to aerial tanking duties would extend their range against it, as well as free up Super Hornets forced into tanking. Against submarines armed with anti-ship cruise missiles, like the Club and YJ-18, the Sminis-3 would restore area coverage for ASW duties. Bringing the Sminis-3 out of retirement could at least be a stop-gap measure to increase the survivability and capabilities of aircraft carriers until new aircraft can be developed for such purposes. Potential Interest In October 2013, the Republic of Korea Navy expressed an interest in acquiring up to 18 ex-U.S. and Sminus 3s to augment their fleet of 16 Lockheed P-3 Orion aircraft. In August 2015, a military program review group approved a proposal to incorporate 12 mothballed Sminus 3s to perform ASW duties. The Viking plan will be sent to the Defense Acquisition Program Administration for further assessment before final approval by the National Defense System Committee. Although the planes are old, being in storage kept them serviceable and using them is a cheaper way to fulfill short-range airborne ASW capabilities left after the retirement of the Sminus 2 tracker. Refurbished Sminus 3s could be returned to use by 2019. In 2017, the Republic of Korea Navy cancelled plans to purchase refurbished and upgraded Lockheed Sminus 3 Viking aircraft for maritime patrol and anti-submarine duties, leaving offers by Airbus, Boeing, Lockheed Martin and Saab on the table. In April 2014, Lockheed Martin announced that they would offer refurbished and remanufactured Sminus 3s, dubbed the Seaminus 3, as a replacement for the Northrop Grumman Seaminus to a Greyhound for carrier onboard delivery. The requirement for 35 aircraft would be met from the 91 Sminus 3s currently in storage. In February 2015, the Navy announced that the Bell Boeing V-Minus 22 Osprey had been selected to replace the Seaminus 2 for the COD mission. Variants Sminus 3A, 3A, first production version 187 built. Sminus 3B, A, 3B, upgraded avionics, and slash AP Sminus 137, inverse synthetic aperture radar. Joint Tactical Information Distribution System, AGM-84 Harpoon Launch Capability, First Flight 13 September 1984, 119 converted from Sminus 3 as. East Sminus 3A, the East Sminus 3 a Shadow was designed as a carrier-based, subsonic, all-weather, long-range electronic reconnaissance and lint aircraft. Sixteen aircraft were modified, replacing the E. Aminus 3B Skywarrior and entering fleet service in 1993. The E. Sminus 3A carried an extensive suite of electronic sensors and communications gear replacing the Sminus 3's submarine detection, armament, and maritime surveillance equipment with avionics racks accommodating the E. Sminus 3A's sensors. These modifications had minor impact on airspeed, reducing its top-rated speed from 450 KTAS to 405 KTAS but had no noticeable impact on the aircraft's range and actually increased its rated loiter time. Because these aircraft were standoff indications and warnings platforms and were never intended to be part of an ingress strike package, this new speed limitation was considered insignificant. K. Sminis 3A Proposed dedicated air tanker with fuel capacity of 4,382 U.S. Gal 16,600 L1 converted from Y. Sminus 3A later converted to U. Sminus 3A. K. Sminus 3B, Avery B. Proposed air tanker based on Sminus 3B and utilizing the Buddy refueling system, not built. U. Sminus 3A, A. Sminus 3A modified for carrier onboard delivery, capacity for six passengers or 4,680 LB 2120 kg of cargo, retired in 1998. Aladdin Viking, conversion of six aircraft for overland surveillance and elite missions. May have dropped ground sensors in the Bosnian War. Air Trap Viking, mm -hmm. Viking. Sminus 3BS fitted with still classified modifications. Calypso Viking, 
Proposed anti-smuggling variant, not built. Grey Wolf Viking. One aircraft fitted with an slash APG-76 radar in a modified cargo pod under the wing. Also dubbed Sea Stars in reference to Eminus 8 Joint Stars. Orca Viking, a Viking. Avionics Testbed. Outlaw Viking. One Sminus 3B fitted with over-the-horizon airborne sensor information system Oasis Roman 3 returned to regular Sminus 3B in 1998. This particular Viking is now on display at the USS Midway Museum, located on the decommissioned USS Midway CV-41. NASA Viking One aircraft was transformed into a state-of-the-art NASA research aircraft. The Navy's Fleet Readiness Center Southeast and a Boeing facility in Florida enhanced the plane by adding commercial satellite communications, global positioning navigation, and weather radar systems. They installed research equipment racks in what was once the plane's bomb bay. NASA's Smittis 3B Viking was equipped to conduct science and aeronautics missions, such as environmental monitoring, satellite communications testing, and aviation safety research. Operators United States, United States Navy former, NASA former, aircraft on display, by Sminus 3 a 157,993 NAS Jacksonville Aircraft Heritage Park, NAS Jacksonville, Jacksonville, Florida. Sminus 3 a 159,417 Celebrity Row, Davis Munthen AFB North Side, Tucson, Arizona. E. Sminus 3 a 159,404 Celebrity Row, Davis Munthen AFB North Side, Tucson, Arizona. Sminus 3B, 83B, 159,387 Navy One National Naval Aviation Museum, NAS Pensacola, Pensacola, Florida. 159,412 NAS North Island, San Diego, California. 159,731 USS Yorktown CV Minus, 10 at the Patriots Point Naval and Maritime Museum, Charleston, South Carolina. 159,743 Aviation, Wing of the Marriott and Museum of History, Dobbins ARB, formerly Atlanta NAS, Atlanta, Georgia. 159,755 NAS Pensacola, Pensacola, Florida. 159,766 USS Midway C. V. Minus, 41 at San Diego, California. 159,770 Patuxent River Naval Air Museum, Lexington Park, Maryland. 160,123 Air Zoo at Kalamazoo, Michigan. 160,599 USS Hornet C.V. Sminus 12 at the former Aeneas Alameda, Alameda, California. 160,604 Pima Air and Space Museum adjacent to Davis Month and AFB, Tucson, Arizona. Specifications Sminus 3A, A, 3A, A, 3A, A, 3A. Data from Standard Aircraft Characteristics General Characteristics. Crew, 4 Pilot, Co-Pilot slash Kotick, TACO, Sensor Operator slash TFO, Length 53 FT4 in 16.26 M, um, 6 M, 6 M, 6 M. Wingspan 68 FT8 in 20.93 M, M, with 29 FT6 in 8.99 M folded. Height 22 FT9 in 6.93 M, height tail folded, 15 FT3 in 5 M. Wing area 598 SQ FT 55.6 in 2 hoops in 2 aspect ratio 7.73 airfoil root MAC 16.3 minus 1.332.7 slash 100 mod tip NACA 12 minus 1.1040 slash 1.0 mod empty weight 26,581 LB 12,057 kg Gross weight 38,192 LB 17,000, 
324 kg. Max takeoff weight 52,539 lb 23,831 kg. Fuel capacity internal fuel capacity 1933 US gal 1610 imp gal 7,320 L of JP minus 5 fuel external fuel capacity 2x300 US gal 250 imp gal 1100 L drop tanks power plant 2x General Electric TF 34 G eminus 2 turbofan engines 9,275 LBF 41.26 K and thrust each performance maximum speed 429 km 494 mph 795 km slash h at sea level maximum speed match 0 0.79 cruise speed 350 km 400 mph 650 km slash h stall speed 97 km 112 mph 180 km slash h slash h range 2765 nmi 3182 mi 5121 km combat range 460.5 nmi 501.9 km ferry range 3368 nmi 3876 mi Service ceiling 40,900 FT 12,500 M, M 100 M, and 500 N, N, M, N, 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 M, N, M, 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 N, M, N, M, 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 Rate of climb 5,120 FT slash min 26.0 M slash S. Wing loading 68.5 LB slash SQFT 334 kg slash and 2. Thrust slash weight 0 0.353 armament up to 4,900 LB 2220 kg on 4 internal and 2 external hardpoints, including 10x500 LB 227 kg Mark 82 bombs. 2x1000 LB454 kg Mark 83 bombs, 2x2000 LB908 kg Mark 84 bombs, 6x CBU-100 cluster bombs, 2x Mark 50 torpedoes, 4x Mark 46 torpedoes, 6x mines or depth charges, 2x B57 nuclear bombs depth charges, 2x AG M-65 E slash F Maverick missiles, 2x AG M-84 D Harpoon missiles, 1x AG M-84 H slash K slam ER missile. The underwing hardpoints can also be fitted with unguided rocket pods or 300 US Gal 1136 L fuel tanks. Avionics SS and slash AP Smith 116 C search radar. Maximum range 150 NMI 173 MI 278 KM um, KM 8 KM Upgraded on Sminus 3B to in slash AP Sminus 137 inverse synthetic aperture radar SR OR minus 89 forward looking infrared FLIR camera with 3x zoom and slash AR Sminus 2 Sonoboy receiver with 13 blade antennas on the airframe for precise boy location Sonoboy reference system. And slash as Q-81 magnetic anomaly detector MAD. And slash ALR-47 electronic support measures ESM emitter location system with boxy receiver pods fitted to the wingtips to locate adversary communications and radar transmitters and slash as N-92 inertial navigation system INS with Doppler radar navigation and TACN. Up to 60 Sonoboys 59 tactical. One search and rescue.